Hey folks, did you saw unusual change or I would say a good change that happened with your operating system? If you haven't noticed it yet, then not to worry guys, here I am to tell and talk about it. Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, I will be talking to you about Microsoft chat feature that recently got integrated with Windows 11. So without further ado, let's talk about it. So how you can access it, you just need to click here on search bar and here you will see this Bing chat option. So what's so special about it? So this is basically the advanced version of already popular chat GPT, which can give you information that is much more up to date compared to chat GPT. Not only that, it have all the bells and whistles that you might have seen already inside ChatGPT, which means that you can do context-based search, you can chat with it, you can do a lot more. So why don't we quickly jump into it? So I'm gonna ask, tell me about seven wonders in earth. And I want to perform Bing chat. So here we can see brand new Bing chat, which is again powered by chat GPT. And if we talk about its interface here, so you can see the welcome message and quite similar interface like chat GPT, where you will get, you know, some kind of uh, suggestion the way you can chat with this Bing. But as I said before, it is much more better than chat GPT since it now have access to all the latest information available in internet. So how you can reach there, you can even reach there by opening bing.com and then clicking on chat. So maybe most of the user may find it where Bing chat is asking to join waitlist. So in that case, I would suggest you to log in with your Bing account or Outlook account so that you can join the waitlist. But let's say if you already have access, then there we go, guys. Here we can see um, it is already available. And here you have three kind of conversational style available. First one is more creative. Second one is balance. And third one is more precise. So what actually we can expect from these three mode. First one may pop out some kind of Bing chat's own ideas. While in case of balance, uh, it will try to verify information from the sources and then only it will produce result. While in case of more precise, it have a list of much more credible sources from there it might be generating its result. So let me quickly search something um, who invented zero, which is again um, from my own country. So let's see what actually it produce. Although this information is not that latest. So let me ask him something which is much more latest. So tell me about the latest G790 chipset. How and how it compared with Jed 690. So sometimes it happened that it take time to think and then it came up with some answer. So here we can see uh, it came up with answer that how Z790 vary from Z690. So let me ask him something different. Can you suggest me cars under 20 lakhs in India? And that should be SUV. So what actually I want to verify here is, um, you know, I want to verify whether the data that this is pulling out is latest or not. So here we go. Last time when I asked chat GPT, it produced some garbage results because the database of chat GPT was not that up to date. So since these models are much more latest, so it actually producing real time data. And also it is providing us sources from where actually he fetched the data. And when you 
gonna click on that link you will be redirected to that website so these are some of cool thing which are apart from you know regular context based question or you're asking it to do something like generating articles and even youtube script and so on I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and I will catch you soon in my next video. Till then take care and bye bye.